Stan to McQuarrie's and welcome back to another episode of Battletech as we continue the campaigns of Voodoo's Marauders on the hunt for more hundred tonners. And today we're going to be uh, doing a four skull mission against House Liao. Unfortunately, we have come way out to the current planet that we're at trying to find higher level missions. And I made a small mistake because we don't have the reputation in order to run those missions. So we'll probably have to be spending about another month just to get back to uh, a Regan Reach territory where we actually do have a sufficient reputation level to take the highest level missions. But this was kind of disappointing because this was supposed to be a five skull planet and there's two five skull missions staring me in the face and I can't pick them because I don't have a high enough reputation with the two factions that are offering them. But in any case, drop interception. This will pay out 104 million or 104,500 sea bills with a 314 salvage ratio. So the potential to pick up a free mech should we happen to run into an assault, which we're desperately trying to find. Only four skull missions. So we have detected an inbound dropship belonging to the Capellan Confederation. Our local forces in the expected drop area are ill-equipped to handle a lance of mechs, but with your aid, we can ensure that the raid does minimal damage. We'd like you to intercept the Capellan lance and destroy it. So, the Balans obviously wouldn't send a dropship unless they had something to work with, so let's see if we can't stomp on them and prevent any sort of damage from actually happening. There was no word about reinforcements, but hey, you never know. And we have a little bit of a different lance composition. I'm testing out the most recent mech that we found. First of all, there is me, Voodoo in the King Crab, and we have modified things slightly. The problem that we had in the last mission was we just ran out of ammo. We simply did not have enough weapon weapons to shoot, so uh, I have increased it to 5 tons of AC-20 ammo, bringing us up to 25 rounds for our two cannons. Whether or not that's enough, we'll find out. Uh, in order to do that, I had to drop down the uh, LRM-20 that we were packing, so we now have an a large laser and an LRM-5, just so we can provide a little bit of extra uh, plinking damage, I guess, to knock anybody over who we happen to get up to max level. Commander. Behemoth is in the normal Highlander, the 32 Bravo, and she has an AC-20, two large lasers, and two SRM-6s. Styros is, of course, rocking the LRM-60 boat for our Highlander. I'm not super happy about this one. I want to find an assault that has four missile hardpoints, aside from the King Crab, that you can actually fit all four LRM-20 slots in. Because right now, he's not quite doing as much as I kind of want him to. Yep. Medusa is backing us up in his brand new 33 Papa, and he is equipped with three large lasers and three SRM-6s. It was kind of the best I could figure out with. This may not work, it might work. It is a little bit toastier than normal, but uh, he has some pretty significant heat generation things. So let's go out and Not start trying to hunt down the enemy. Hopefully we'll run into another assault mech. Hopefully we'll run into another 100 tonner and be able to steal that. Because that's what I'm interested in. What do we got? 100 tons, yes! So is it another king crab? Could we steal that? Because having two king crabs would be nice. Having four king crabs is ideal. Although I'm not sure. Yep, it's an Atlas D. Interesting. I believe we have one spare part for you right now. So we need to blow off your legs. That must be the plan. And you're an 80 tonner? Or was that 85? Wasn't quite seeing. Yeah, it's a flat out 80 tonner. So it could be a Zeus. Could be not a Banshee. Banshees are 95 tons. So we do need to knock this guy flat on his bottom. And how do we want to open this up? Yes, Commander. I think we open with Skyros. The reason why I think we open with Skyros is because he will lay down a pretty significant I'll amount move. of stability damage. And we would very much like to try and pull that off. I'm also going to be taking headshots every chance that I can possibly get. But we're going to see if we can't lay down some, uh, some nice that. little uh, chip damage on him. Just weaken him up. Get a lot of stability damage on him, if at all possible. We'd like to set him on steady, but that's not going to happen. No siree. We've got him up to two marks. That's not nearly enough. Another 80 tonner. Okay, not super impressed, quite frankly. But we'll see what we can do. I do have enough for a called shot, and I am going to take it. Because we do have a pretty decent amount of generation. So we'll pull me up, and I'm going to make a called shot against your head. Because I have a 5% chance, and I have two AC-20s. Go for it, go for it, go for it! Go for it. Come on, just take the head off. That's all I care about. Well, I did make him unsteady, which is great. I did make you unsteady, right? I did, okay. Uh, Receiving you. Behemoth, I do not have enough to make another called shot for you, unfortunately. Which is kind of sad, because it'd be awesome. Two large lasers, uh, not feeling that. If Even if I knock him down, I'm going to have one Stop. round of a free called shot on him, basically. Which is not tremendous. We are weakening his one shoulder, which is good. Firing a full salvo. Oh, that was not the headshot that I was desperately looking for. This will knock you over, right? 
just barely on his feet. Critical hit coming Although we in. have crit critted an AC-20, which is nice, because one more crit, I like that. Receiving you. And he will lose his capability to uh, counterattack us. So get two pips of evasion, and that'll be every weapon in range. Perfect. So let's see how the 32 Papa handles. That's not terrible heat generation. I kind of like that. Okay. Lay into him. Here it comes. This will knock him over. 18 more SR missiles. You missed with a large laser, which I kind of wanted you to hit. Uh, is that going to take out the shoulder? Doesn't look like it, but that you are going down, my friend. On your back, please. I want to take it completely intact, but I don't think I'm going to be able to pull that one off. So one pilot injury at this point. Enemy round, we have the person moving at number two. Oh, a victor. Interesting. I'd forgotten victors were in the game. What was this mech over here? Show me. Show me. 70 tons. 70 tons is nothing. We don't care about 70 tons. I am going to take Waiting my shot. Orders. Just going to stand still. Again, going for the head. Can get a 4% chance only? Orders. Behemoth, if you were to shoot with him, we want headshots. Behemoth is the... Okay, so Behemoth has the has the ability to make good headshots. So go for that headshot, please. It's a 16% chance. We missed... Come on, just give me headshots. That's all I care about. AC-20 destroyed and a head hit. Okay, so it's weakened a bit. Target's taken a critical hit. Well, I'll bet that was only 12 damage out of it. You gonna stand up? He's gonna stand up. He's back on his feet and he's ready for action. I'm just quickly flicking through the tactics menu to see uh, who's got the call job bonus. He's coming on forward. He's got the... He's got the rage that he wants to bring, although he's missing his AC-20, which is a pretty big deal, actually. Not having that AC-20 is seriously going to negatively affect his capabilities. Alrighty, so... Standing by. Medusa. Actually, no, let's, ch let's take a look ahead of time. He has... 50... He's got 49. 49 head. Now, in this base game, you cannot hit the head more than once per shooting round. So none of this matters, because he can't deal enough damage. I still can, but I have an AC-20. That's a bit of a problem, especially because I think, yeah, I've been chewing away at that. Call another shot on the head. All Come on, it's a 1 in 20, but give it to me, please. I just, just want the ability to say that we have him. And Victor's rolling up. Victor should have an AC-20 in his arm, I believe. I'm fairly certain the Victor is rocking an AC-20, but we're about to find out as he fires into the Highlander and does hit. Luckily, Behemoth was, of course, bulwarked, and so it only did half damage, and that's indeed an AC-20. So that'd be a nice mech to have. Kinda would fit in with the Zeus, although it's probably slower than the Zeus. Orders. Uh, Medusa, we want to save. Commander? Skyros, I'm going to send a lot of missiles your way. I don't want to chip his... I, I really don't want to chip his CT. I would very much like us to hit the side armor and things on him, because I really don't want to blow him up entirely, because I don't think that we have... Okay, so another torso. So we've got a head hit, we've got a knockdown, we've got a torso. And a knockdown. That's four. Is this going to be enough? One more, maybe? Medusa. Waiting for orders. Um... I hate to ask you to try and do this. Coordinates received. But if you can hit his head once more, I think that may kill him, and he still should have enough health. You've got a 4% chance, but you've got a lot of missiles. Confirmed. Come on. Put a headshot down on him. Just one is all I need. No. 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 I didn't think that he would nail every single shot into the CT. But you see, we're supposed to spread it around a bit. Two victors. Interesting. So apparently we're pissing off Davian. But I was under the impression we were fighting Liao. Ooh, getting kind of nailed there. Not great. I think picking up a, a pair of victors might be not a terrible thing. Good to go. All right, Behemoth. Can you redeem yourself a little bit and tear his head off? I'd really like that if you could pull that off, please. Firing. Because we just lost an Atlas. You missed with an AC-20. Unless you managed to put a head hit down with a with a laser, or a SRM. So I guess we got that going for us. Yeah, we've got... Oh, there's a Victor 9B and a 9S. And Medusa's taking some nasty hits here. Medusa, I'm a little disappointed in you. I'm under heavy fire here. You're fine. 
Th that should have quite a bit of armor on it. I'm fairly certain that I allowed that to happen. Uh, do I just want to, like, crack him entirely? I can't crack him and run around. What's Gotta need Skyros to ha add in a little bit of firepower. Uh, the 9S is the one we're focusing on? No, it's the 9B, but Skyros doesn't care. He's gonna hit the headshot every single time. Well, not the headshot, but he's gonna hit with every single missile anyway. Structure exposed. He's vulnerable as he just sits in that rain. And oh, there goes his AC. 20 ammo. Just detonating and causing a pilot injury. Let's, uh... Let's line me up. And target the guy who's basically mostly dead at this point. Only 75% chance to hit. What's going on here? Well, I did manage to nail him both times. And the smattering of missiles, just to knock him over. Which is kind of what it's for, except that wasn't super useful to us. Alright, another pilot injury. Although this is a really good pilot. I mean, he's got five tiers of stability. That's basically how we judge pilots at this point. Uh, do I just stand still and just continue to burn away? How much CT? 40. Okay, we're gonna multi-shot. And I'm gonna go you. And you. And you are bravo, bravo, and bravo, because I anticipate the missiles should be able to hit enough of this stuff. If not, I'm going to be kind of disappointed. Yeah. Medusa's really good at popping CTs. He's too good at popping CTs. I know it's technically my fault. I am controlling him, but I am very disappointed that Medusa didn't just put one shot into the head. It's all it needed. He had four injuries on him. So frustrating. 70 tonner. I'm assuming you're an Orion? Wait, no, Orions are 75 tons. What is 70 tons flat? Not really sure. Doesn't really matter. Uh, let's not overheat. Turn off the LRMs. Turn off the laser. We can still fire both cannons. We're good with that one. Uh, yeah, blast away. Engaging target. Stocks are exposed. Jump jets destroyed. I assume that means the legs down. Critical damage Might detected. be worth going in on them. And of course the victor now is going to move on forward. He's going to get closer. Shed some of that stability damage. And fire his autocannon right into Medusa's Highlander. He seriously has problems with Medusa. Did he get past the armor? Heavy hits, Commander. I don't think he got past the armor. I hope it didn't get past the armor. We need him more or less intact. Alright, line him up. Knock him over. Well, this won't knock him over. We gotta make him unsteady first. But you'll get him mostly maxed out, hopefully. Ah, uh, so many missiles. Just... Ooh, there goes. Pretty significant amount of missiles to the neck. Critical hit. Good job. Wonderful. He's unsteady. What's up, boss? Uh, Medusa. Standing by. What's he got left? Uh, Medusa can't get into the side, so Medusa's going to get into the side. We're just going to chomp away at him a bit. Try and burn him down. Uh, Don't hit the fire. CT too much, please. Yeah, hit the legs, hit the shoulders, hit the arms. That's that's what I'm looking to do. Right leg is destroyed, right arm is destroyed, AC-20 destroyed, right torso Four destroyed. He's got one leg left. So if I can knock out this leg without killing his actual mech... We'll get two parts out of this, which is a guaranteed three parts then, because... Oh, no, but it's a Victor S versus a Victor... Oh, that's a problem. Ready for orders. Hey, Behemoth, do you want to be a pal? Do you want to put a single AC-20 round into his head? We'll give it a shot. Copy that. I don't think that hit the head. I'm fairly positive that didn't hit the head. Well, they gotta move their 70 turner first, and then we get to move again. So Behemoth will have another try. At this point, she'll have fired, what, four times? It's a cataphract! How cute! I'd like to have a cataphract. They're pretty cool. They're an interesting mech design. I much prefer the MechWare Online version to the original version. I think they look much cooler. Behemoth? Yes, Commander. Once more with feeling, please. And if you hit the CT, you'll kill him. So, you either knock out his head, or nothing. CT destroyed. Mech destroyed. Don't sound so happy about that. How's it going? We were trying to take him intact. We're not trying very hard to take them intact, to be, to be perfectly honest, but we are trying to a certain extent to take them intact. Let's just make this guy regret ever being born. Uh, do I see him? I do see him, so I can just turn in place. Hi. Uh, can I activate other weapons? No. This is AC-20 land only. It's much nicer now that we have enough ammunition that we can just keep blazing away. Critical damage detected. And a knockdown. Excellent. We'll bring Behemoth over. Maybe she can actually get a headshot this round. I need to get more pilots with the call chop mastery. It's just too important not to have. Uh, Medusa. Receiving you. You want to come around here? No? No, you're not going to possibly be able to make it in time? That's all right. You can take a turn to chill. Which, he can actually chill out all of that heat in one round. That's just lovely. 
I really like that mech. I think I think it'll be pretty decent. It is technically supposed to be the energy version of the mech, and yeah, it's supposed to have a PPC, but PPCs in this game are really pretty bad. They're just not good. Oh, he's an ace pilot, so he's gonna shoot and then he's gonna move. Getting on up to us and standing there. Uh, hey there, Skyros. Would you like sandpaper? No, I want Skyros, please. Ready for orders. No, we'll take Behemoth. We'll take Behemoth, because Behemoth can walk up and we'll make a call shot. Again, we're trying to just get the call shot here. Precision strike on his head. Blow it off. 18% chance. 90% chance to hit. Nope, didn't hit. We wanted to try. Ready for orders. Um, I will make the same call shot. Again, it's not super important. Engaging target. Well, there goes his right leg, so he's on his back. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. We just can't seem to nail these headshots. I mean, granted, I'm on a 5% chance, but she should have hit at least one so far. Behemoth, I kind of need you to nail their heads. Standing by. Uh, Medusa. No, you gotta, you gotta move, because unlike everybody else, you actually do not have, um... Move, you're gonna have to move out here. That's fine. He doesn't really way. have much. Unlike everybody else, you don't have bulwark. Which is a bit of a problem. It's not a huge problem, but a little bit of one. If you miss, you'll blow out a CT. Locking in. Which you All do weapons. way too good. I didn't quite realize just how powerful an SRM-18 would be. I mean, just look at that. He, that he deletes gone. things. That may be a bit of a go-to for 33 poppers. Because that's pretty good. I mean, three large lasers deals a nice amount of chunk damage, but it's the SRMs that really bring up the real, the real firepower on that one. All right, everything is unfortunately destroyed. Oh, but we had two parts. Yes, we got an Atlas, and we got a cataphract. And do we want a Victor 9B or a 9S? Three ballistic, two energy, two missile, one support for jump jets, two ballistic. So the 9B just seems better. Subpar armor. Trade to mount more weaponry, but this one has more hard points. Am I missing something here? Durability is the same. Movement is the same. Yeah, I'm taking the 9B because the 9B seems to have more stuff. Anything else interesting? There's a leg mod, but who cares about leg mods? Whole bunch of heat sinks. Maybe we'll get lucky. We'll pick up the second victor part, and we did. So we got all the all the mech parts available from that mission. But we'll have an atlas. Ha ha! That puts us up to 300 tonners. One more, and we'll have the full primary lance fitted out. And then we need a secondary lance of assault mechs, which we have because we have a whole bunch of Highlanders. So that's actually working really well for us. Uh, it would have been nice to take the thing completely intact and place us in a great position to grab an entire another atlas. But hey, it'll take some time. We call the Cataphract the Franken Mech, because it's got a little bit of everything stitched together on it. The 1X model works well at medium to close range with good armor and weaponry. That mech you asked for is cleared for fighting. The Atlas D is the king of the battlefield, capable of bringing a dizzying array of weaponry to bear at targets at any range. It is also noteworthy for being normally mounting the maximum amount of armor possible. Few opponents can survive even a brief in contact with this monster. And I'm gaining more experience. Hopefully I'll have called shot so I can actually help out with called shot mastery because that'll be key. Let's quickly check the bay. This has been a relatively short episode. All right, show me my brand new atlas right here. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. It is the face of inner sphere assault mechs in this game. Just like the Timberwolf is the face of clan mechs. It has two hard points for AC-20s, which we may, we may just rig this in the exact same way that we have the King Crab. You were talking about maximum armor. That's a lie. There's no way this is maximum armor. I'll be interested to see what I can build out of it. I'm going to try something. I'm not sure what, but I would like to get a really nasty, really nasty monster mech. So that's actually going to do it for today's episode. We've managed to pick out pick up our first atlas it will of course be the king of the company yes the king crab might be a little bit better at least according to one of my friends he thinks the king crabs are better but uh now that we have an atlas we can start really moving forward we need one more hundred ton assault mech and then we can start really considering moving into the end of the game 
Anyway, I've been Tarek. If you like what you've been seeing, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to see a notification every time I post one of these videos, press that little bell icon, leave a comment, and I will see you all in the next episode.